The NHL's general managers meeting is wrapped up in sunny South Florida on Wednesday, and we're here to break it all down on this week's edition of The First Line, presented by Bally Sports. He's Pete Blackburn. I'm Frank Saravalli of DailyFaceoff.com. Pete, one of the things that didn't really receive a ton of buzz, but I think would be a landmark change, is the idea of increasing three-on-three overtime from five minutes to seven minutes. Are you buying or selling on that idea? I'm going to buy and I'm going to take it a step further. I would increase it to 10 minutes. I want more three on three. I love three on three overtime. It's chaotic. It's fun. Uh, I want 10 minutes. I want to eliminate as many shootouts as possible. I don't want to get rid of the shootout completely, but I want it to feel like a last resort. So a 10 minute three on three in overtime seems like it would get there. Uh, I think that a lot of games would, um, you know, would not end in shootout. A lot of them would end in that three on three overtime. Uh, and yeah, uh, seven minutes is a nice little in between, but I would go 10 minutes. Yeah, I was going to say I'm selling because I think seven minutes is a half measure. If you bump it to nine, the statistics say and through expected goals models and everything else that we can drill down on that 93% of games would be ended in nine minutes or fewer if that's how far you go. I, I think the idea of we should just get rid of the shootout entirely. Like I'm fine if you go through the entire three on three overtime period, whether it's nine minutes or 10 minutes, whatever it is. And then you just end it in a tie. Like I'd be fine with that too. The idea of these three point games that the NHL has had going on for the last number of years, I think it's jumbled the standings in a big way, but don't do seven. You gotta go to nine because that's what would actually get the job done. Seven, it stands the reason would be, you know, just north of 75%, not nearly enough as uh, as nine minutes. So when you talk about uh, some potential rule changes, Pete, if there's one that you could make in today's game, what would it be? I saw this proposed the other week and I really, really like the idea. We're talking about overtime. Uh, how about the end of overtime with an expiring clock is treated like a delayed penalty. So say a team has possession, they've got it in the offensive zone and the clock hits zero. Well, that possession is allowed to continue until there's a goal or a change of possession, similar to the way they do stoppage time in soccer. Uh, I would I would love that. I think that it would it would add a last gasp um, excitement at the end of overtime. You'd be you know clenching your butt, clenching your fingers, uh, <laughs> waiting to see if uh, if possession changes or if a goal is scored. And I think that would be awesome. Yeah, I get what you're saying, but I could also, and I appreciate your want for chaos, but I could also see a lot of players or teams, coaches just being absolutely livid. Why did you decide to blow the whistle then when you deem that this or this wasn't an opportunity, a scoring chance, a shot, a rush, whatever it may be, I could just see that just going absolutely haywire, which I don't know, maybe that's exactly why you'd be rooting for it. Yeah, it would generate a lot of discussion. I'm sure there is some gray area there in terms of, you know, what constitutes a change of possession, what constitutes uh, some of the things that you mentioned there. But chaos, I want it ramped up as much as possible. We got enough in three on three overtime, but adding a nice little extra gasp of, of excitement at the end would be hilarious. All right, so let's talk playoffs. And that was another hot button issue heading into the GM meetings was does the NHL need to change the playoff format back to the traditional one to eight uh, as we saw in conference play for a long, long time. Sidney Crosby of the Pittsburgh Penguins doesn't speak out often and share his opinion, but he did on this one saying that he's ready to get back to the one to eight format. Do you think they need a change or do you like it the way it is? I don't think it's necessary, but I would like to see one through eight be brought back. And this is a weird year to, to, to clamor for it because it's kind of going to be one through eight in the Eastern Conference, it looks like anyway. But, uh, you know, I, I just think that it's, we're seeing too often the best teams are matched up in the second round of the playoffs. And so, uh, you know, I'd rather see the best two teams available and, and remaining in the conference finals and avoid, you know, forcing and shoehorning these these rivalry matchups in the first couple of rounds. I just think one through eight is is more cohesive and leads to a true best of best all the way through. Does it though? Like. How many times do we see eight beat one? Like it happened all the time in the NHL. How many president's trophy winners did we see lose in the first round? To think that changing it back to one to eight is all of a sudden gonna give us the best two teams making it to the conference final. It seems like a fool's errand with how random the NHL is by nature in the Stanley Cup playoffs. I don't think they need to change anything. I like the way that it is now and I don't understand all the whining that's out there. 
particularly from just one fan base, and that would be the Toronto Maple Leafs, because they say, oh, well, we can't get past the Boston Bruins, and we're one of the best regular season teams, and we get stuck with the Tampa Bay Lightning all these years. Around. Who cares? To be, get to, to hoist be the, the ultimate to be the best, prize, you gotta beat the best. A hundred percent. And until you can do that, I don't care whether you lose in the first round, whether you lose in the third round, whenever it might be, you still have to go through that gauntlet. And the fact that you get them in the first round, it should make no difference. In, in fact, I think it adds to what is the best spectacle in sports, which is the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. If, if there's one thing to be disappointed about, it's that. It's that the playoffs are the best in the first round, unlike the NBA, which the first round is the worst. And that sort of builds to a crescendo as they get to the NBA finals. Whereas with the Stanley Cup final, it's kind of, it's lost a lot of luster which compared to that first round chaos. I, I don't necessarily disagree with you there, but how about this? What would you say about going back to the COVID bubble format where they reseed the final four teams uh, and sort of get rid of the Eastern Conference, Western Conference final, reseed the final four teams, and then open up the possibility for a rivalry, um, you know, you know, Eastern Conference teams in the Stanley Cup final, like a Bruins Leafs, a Bruins Canadians, something like that. I, I don't know. I, at that point, you might as well just go to one to 16 if you really want to go for maximum, you know, sort of uh, fairness in terms of how the playoffs play themselves out and really put weight on your regular season. And then you're going to hear a whole bunch of people complaining about all oh, the travel. Give me a break. The Toronto Maple Leafs and LA Kings used to be in the same division. What are we even talking about here? I think the bigger problem there would be two, the potential of two West Coast teams being matched up in the in the Stanley Cup final. Who cares? Then you're gonna, well, then you're going to have a tough time with TV ratings and late starts and things well, like we, that. They start the games out West in the Stanley Cup final at 8 p.m. Eastern anyway, 5 p.m. Pacific. I didn't hear any Kings fans complaining then when they won two Stanley Cups. A good point it's a good point one to 16 i don't know i'd be all for it that's the change that i would make and if you're going to mark it down on your calendars first round of the stanley cup playoffs the puck drops in one month monday april 17th